Greenland is voting on its future. At stake is the financial success of a territory that relies on money from Denmark as well as fishing for its economic survival. Catches like shrimp and halibut make up more than 90 percent of the island's exports. With the economy already battered by the coronavirus pandemic and vulnerable to global heating, the self-governing Danish territory is looking to move beyond its reliance on Denmark as well as fish. We need to create growth and generate new sources of income with tourism, mining activities and other growth businesses that are important because we want to create a quality of life that's even better than it is today. The U.S. Geological Survey says Greenland has some of the world's largest undeveloped rare earth element deposits. Rare earth minerals are a group of 17 chemical elements or metals found in the ground. They're found only in small quantities, with the largest known reserves located in China, Vietnam and Brazil. They're critical to the manufacturing of high-tech devices like lasers, smartphones, medical equipment, wind turbines and weapons. With Arctic ice melt increasing access to Greenland, vast rare earth oxide deposits in the Quanersuite Plateau have attracted serious interest from international investors and miners. But indigenous residents and their leaders have sounded the alarm over a potential mining project at Quanersuite, fearing it would damage the ecosystem and tourism revenue they depend on. We are one uh, a part of the, the, the earth. We are a part of the uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, um, what to, uh, responsibility to uh, to our uh, the next generations to come that we have to take care of the mother earth. If her party wins a majority in parliament and can form a coalition, its agenda for the Quanner Suite operation is clear. If uh, IA wins the election, we will uh, close the Quanner Suite project. But without new mining projects, Greenland and its 57,000 residents will have to find another way to become economically self-reliant in the middle of a climate crisis. Sarah Balter, TRT World.